Excellency, Mr. Sajid Bilal, Ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan in Cairo, Excellency Muhammad Farooqi, Secretary of Commerce of Pakistan, Sada Al-Wazara, Sada al Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to extend my sincere greetings and gratitude to the Government of Pakistan and express my appreciation to the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan, TDA, TDAP, and, organizing, and the Organizing Committee for bringing together such a diverse group of individuals who are committed to enhancing economic cooperation between Pakistan and the African continent by arranging the fourth Pakistan-Africa Trade Development Conference, PATDC, and the Single Country Exhibition, SCE. I believe that such events and meetings strengthen bilateral and multilateral relations and create constructive partnership between Asia and Africa, which will benefit the business communities and our countries in both regions. Egypt and Pakistan share a long and illustrative history that goes beyond mere diplomatic relations. Our countries have stood side by side in supporting each other as uh, each other's aspira aspirations for socio-economic development. It is obvious that trade is a powerful tool that transacts borders and brings nations closer together. The African continent, with its vast resources and emerging markets, provides immense opportunities for Pakistan businesses. Similarly, Pakistan's strategic geograph geographic location, a skilled workforce, and thriving industries make it attractive partner for African countries seeking growth and divers diversification. Ladies and gentlemen, in recent years, Egypt has witnessed significant economic growth and diversification. The government has implemented a range of reforms aimed at improving the business's environment, facilitating trade, and attracting foreign and direct investment. Its sustained efforts have led to increased trade volumes and enhanced connectivity with African countries. Today, we are proud. Today, we are proud of the partnership we have built, particularly in sectors such as agriculture, energy, infrastructure, and manufacturing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also delighted to inform you that the trade relations between Egypt and Pakistan have witnessed a significant growth in the last few years. For, for instance, bilateral trade volume between Pakistan and Egypt has reached new heights with a total value of 400 million US dollars, reflecting Egypt's total exports with almost 300, 300 million dollars, including mainly in petroleum, gas, and raw cotton. And Pakistan exports with almost 100 million dollars, including mainly plastics, rubber, cotton, during fiscal year 21-22. Indicating the increasing economic cooperation between our countries, we have noticed a diversification in trade with exports and implements span, span, spanning various industries such as textiles, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, products, surger, uh, surgical appliances, and machinery plastics. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to the Pakistani government. I'm confident that the fourth conference of Pakistan African Trade Development will yield a fruitful outcomes cementing the path towards more prosperous future. Let us seize this opportunity to forge a lasting partnership, establishment of strong trade networks, and that, that benefit not only respective econo economies, but also a wider global community. Thank you.